Hello, you guys are currently watching this video in the past, present, and future. Here we are. Back with more Torna. Let's go on. Last episode, Laura found out that her mother died when Torgoth was burned to a crisp. Oh man. Uh, see, we have all of Gormat and all that. It's cool and all, but. You know, we already had Gormat, so. I mean, it's cool. We have another version of Gormat to look through. Giant area, but, uh. What's oh, a new? music that I love the new girl my music so much the first the original one was orchestral this one is more jazz I I like orchestral music more but I feel like the jazz fits it more I think maybe I'm gonna die <laughs> Rick there's no time to delay but still we need a new strategy. Right, let's just go to the objective Okay, look, you make that mistake twice, and we're done. I don't done. think doing it twice will make any, the outcome any different. <laughs> Mithra. <laughs> Please. Shut up. Okay. Impressive tree. I'm something of an oh, expert. Not exactly in here. Jesus. It's not exactly anyone here to use it anymore, is there? Huh. What do we need? Don't have Mine to tell me twice. Here, I'll be right back. What?
Surround them. Huh? Ardanian troops. Imperial Guard. Thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No! We just... Problem, Captain? Sorry about that long intermission of me being gone. I, I was just feeding the dogs and then dad told me he wanted me to take down the whole hammock immediately. So I did that as fast as I could. And I come back completely out of breath and I, I can't talk. So I just muted the mic and watched the cutscene. So that something was at least happening in the video. Oh my goodness, okay. So, Lady Bridget. Awesome. Our Dean soldiers looked nearly the same 500 years ago, which is very strange, honestly. Uh, consider, considering, like, think about in real life. Just American soldiers 100 years ago looked so much different than American soldiers now. Ardenian soldiers look exactly the same. <laughs> Almost exactly the same. That just seems strange to me. That, like, little to no development happened with them. <laughs> Ready to put another wing under our belts? There's no, there's no focus target. He's just gonna keep fighting Bridget. He's, he's gonna keep fighting Bridget. He's stuck fighting Bridget. Okay, Blade Comps are back. But he died before I could check him out. There, now we're all fighting Bridget. Because the left and right on the D-pad are taken up by other things now. Awesome. You can link up other team specials. Wait, whoa. So he used full time without me having to tell it to? Who used Photon right there? If I didn't tell her to. Does she do it on her own if I'm not playing the same enemy? So I don't think it worked like that in the base game. Don't think. So it doesn't tell you which one you should be doing next. Oh, ice. Uh, I can't remember which, uh... Photon 3. What the heck? 
That's kind of strange. Huh. Interesting system. I'll have to figure out more about that as we go on. Hear very much new music. Like cutscenes. Come on. A lot from that too. was a pretty cheap trick. Keep going like that, you'll get a reputation. Cheap, you say? Don't be absurd. It's called tactics. Look it up. But perhaps that's something a simpleton like yourself could never hope to comprehend. Uh, a simpleton? Your attacks scream it. Clumsy, heavy, no refinement. Ugh. I was gonna go easy on you, but now, now you have pissed me off. Huh? Mitra, stop! We've got children here. <coughs> Artifice. What was that? If that had actually hit me. Oh, <laughs> didn't like that, did you? I can see it on your face. Well, on that note. Stop. Stop. Pace. Understood. What? Keep your control brains. Is this you? What the hell? She's our enemy. Adam plainly ordered you to stop. Or didn't you hear him, simpleton? <laughs> How extraordinary. I'd heard of a blade with the power to restrain others, but I never thought... And did she say Adam? It can't be. All of you, lay down your arms. There is no need for this. That's... How... What's the... He's a... Nile? Hello? Niall, how... He... It's good to see you again, Prince Adam. That's like Please totally Niall. forgive the actions of my guards. Don't you worry about it. I am just glad to see you well, your Imperial Majesty. Imperial he... Majesty? How did he live 500 years and not look a day the older? No, nope. Hugo. Hugo. How come he looks just like Nile? How come the he Adenian looks just like Emperor? Nile? Like exactly to a T. Someone of his station doing the out fuck? here. You know, our stations are fairly similar. Not that you'd ever know. Thanks. I try. I've come for the Aegis. Its actions have been felt in more Ardain as well. We're currently chasing it down. The same as us, then. But you coming got the same here blade. yourself. My brother is ruling in my absence. I see. And so you brought Bridget and Aegean. Huh? Those two are the crown jewels of the Ardanian forces. Wielding them on the front lines is the duty. Oh, of okay. So it's just anyone. He looks just Indeed. like him. 
That ought to have been my older brother. But he didn't have the potential to become a driver. And now, here you are, bonded with both of them. The Special Inquisitor is under my brother's direct command. Oh. Should I fall in battle, he has his orders to retrieve the core crystals. That sounds cold. That's how it goes with matters of state. And yet, it works out well for me. I have always wanted to put myself on the line for our people. And I never enjoyed wielding authority in the first place. I feel the same way. I don't get why anyone would want to sit on a throne. Yes, that. If Prince Zetar knew, there would be consequences. Let's pretend you didn't hear me say that. You two will never see eye to eye. Better to leave well enough alone. Ruling is, frankly, it's a scary thought. Just imagine becoming someone you don't recognize. Never knowing who's looking back at you in the mirror. Prince Adam, I'd be happy if you called me Hugo, like old times. I will, dear Hugo, but only if you call me Adam in return. Well, it would be beneficial to share our findings, but perhaps elsewhere might be better? How about your Majesty's flagship? Indeed. Flagship. Is something the matter, Lady Laura? I I'm just not very good in that kind of stuffy environment. Well, you're not alone there. That's the worst. Right? I think I'll sit this particular venture out. Yeah, I'm out too. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes, this is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh, yes, that's true. Please, would you go instead of me, please? Of course. I will do as you wish. Thank you kindly. Well then, shall we? So I'm losing out on Laura now? Or am I just gonna lose out on Jin? <sighs> well then, my friends, shall we make a move? Well, Majesty? This may not be my position to say, but would it not be wise to first investigate the location we spoke of? Ah, uh, yes, you do raise a valid point. Ajian, please consider his majesty's feelings. He wishes for a quality time to spend with his dear friend, Prince Adam. I'm honored that you value me, value me so highly, but I think this is a decision best left to Hugo. What do you say? Would, would that be getting in the way of your mission? No, 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 not in the slightest. In fact, I believe you're just as involved in this whole affair as us. What with your traveling alongside the Aegis, that is much is clear. So this mission of yours has something to do with Malos. Exactly. So is Jian, would you? Of course, by official decree, allow me to formally disclose you on the nature of our mission. On the surface, we have, dis we have traveled here to work on diffusing diplomatic tensions between the Empire and Co... Co... Coea. But at the same time, there is another matter we are investigating and I presume and that I presume is Malos so what are you gonna do take him down after him at the present time neither it is his majesty's wish to assert to ascertain the intent of his this Malos and indeed anyone who wishes our empire harm then I assume new intelligence has come to light the fourth decree that decade reported in just as you're on your way to Torkov. The fourth decade reported in just as you're on your way to Torkov. 
They had discovered an area of land that had been scorched by some colossal power. Scorched black by some colossal power. I don't think Adam. Adam's going to want to ignore that one. You read my mind. You go, as much as I'd like to enjoy reminiscing out in the cloud sea, I'd like to first enjoy some more of the scenery first. Of course. If you would like, we could take a side trip before we return to the ship. Laura, is this wise? I still want to decorate the grave, so I'll see you in the village. Everything will be fine. Haze will be with me after all. That's right. Please, take as much time as you need. Alright. Maybe it's best for the best that she doesn't get to see the extent of Malice's devastation. Oh, you thought that one, not said it. Okay. Uh, so you say the fourth decree that the fourth decade found traces of Malice's destruction? And that would be where? It would appear to be at Valafum Hill. Heading inland from Ordia Great Plains. Ugh, I'm tired today. I'm afraid I've received no further information. We have no recourse but to go and examine the area ourselves. I'm here it's probably closer than the harbor. Indeed, then that is where we must go. Perhaps we you can entertain us with tales of your adventures as we make our way, Adam. Okay. I'm certain it'll be worth it in the long sure. run. Sure, how about it? I seriously thought that was not. It looks just like him. Oh shoot, frickin' Hugo. That's our third party member? Alright. Nope, Team Laurel only has one, one member now. Oh yeah! I probably go so I don't play as just one character. So I'll do that. Let's use Team Adam for a while. favorite part. What have we got here? <sighs> okay, sure. Yeah, that happened. Chasing battles with him. Let us show you why we fight. I step aside for no man or monster. So freaking weird. Get away from me. Oh my god, I can't. Time crept up on us, it seems. Aha! That's one of the things you Mithra. 
All of her attacks are in effect, good lord. I didn't plan on losing Oh, I missed that first one, I didn't even see it. Alright, uh... Oh, oh, okay, we have another one. Cool. That's music. It's pretty dang awesome. There's no change accent though. So I don't want to do anything. It looks like I'm on dinner duty tonight. Does anyone have any requests? Do something needy. Understood. Steamed vegetables it is. Wow. True. Sure. We can probably do it, maybe. Hopefully. Now this I'm not so sure about. Let's find out. Let's not. Let's not. You go. some high levels. Okay, I'm gonna say that the story continuation is not gonna be up there. Alright, let's do it. We need some levels anyways, judging by all the level 18s that are running around. This shouldn't be too hard. switch. She's the one we go this way now.
Compared to the Comics 1, this game had a much more awkward opening. Like, a much more awkward opening. Tell me, you finally found the uninhabited titan. That's right, I made it there without a scratch. The map, the bard's song, the elder's legend, it was all true. Bah, I wish you could have had some fun at, had some of that fun after you bonded with me. No fair. Of course, back then I had no idea that I'd be a driver of the Aegis someday. Not a clue. And I also had no idea I'd be end up with a blade I was so hungry for experience. I mean, I prefer, I prefer it when you have something interesting to say. I'd choose to take that as a compliment. Well, sure, it was hardly boring, uh, discovering that legendary uninhabited titan. The natives gave us, uh, gave us a fine chase. Natives? I thought you said it was uninhabited. Well, to be precise, we didn't meet any humans there. Just some monsters of arachno, intel, and skeeter variety. Cool. And there were some pretty huge specimens, too. We must have looked extra tempting for appetizers for them. Ah, there were really quite a lot of them. We were lucky to get out that titan in one piece. Ah, a fine re recompense for an adventurer's heart. So, you have plans to build a holiday villa there. Into nothing. That's more than a little traffic tragic. Well, I mean, that wasn't the primary aim. But... I didn't get a material reward. Perhaps I didn't get a material reward, but at least certainly got a spiritual reward. Things didn't work out so well for my playmates, though. How so? It's kind of a paradise for insects, but I heard later that it was laid waste by someone or other. The ways of humans are often cruel. What's done is done. It was a time of war, and they wanted a place. They wanted to find a place for some refugees. I'm wondering if that, that place is probably inhabited now. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what, where they're talking about. The monsters couldn't have gr grasped that. They probably just saw arrogant humans wrecking their homes. Ah, the telling of it falls hard upon my ears. Aegean, your master, your your mas your master, your majesty. Forgive my interruption, but it appears the location mentioned in the report. It appears this is the. But this appears to be the location mentioned in the report. Good lord. Scorched black. The journey passed as the blinking of an eye, thanks to Adam's enchanting tales. <laughs> if your servant's humble accounting, recounting was able to relive your imperial tedium, truly it was the most blessed men am I. Uh, sure. <laughs> oh, I do wish you'd cut it out, Adam. I am not your... I am not your better, and you should know that. I would be sure that, Hugo, old friend. Now then, Mithra, I'd really like to get your opinion on this as the Aegis. Look at her hair go! God damn! That's not normal. <laughs> I hate to be the very bad news, but this isn't Mal Malice's handiwork. As you come to that conclusion, Mithra, Malice's attacks would have melted the earth and turned it into glass. But whatever did this only scorched the grass. It couldn't have been such a high temperature. It can't have been such a high temperature. So, Malice isn't the only enemy in this, it seems. Interesting. We're lucky to have you as an ally. I offer my apologies for leading you all to this disappointing conclusion. Nay, Aegean, we could have known we could not have known without further investigation. With each possibility we discard, we move we uh, we move all the closer to our goal. Look, everyone, over there! It's a big un <laughs> Indeed, we cannot let it run riot. Just think of the damage it could do to Lashroom Cove or a settlement. Everyone, get to it! Alright, I guess we're fighting something just just because it's big. I thought we were being Wait, why did I turn up the music? Okay, go! 
My friends, put your minds at ease. I forgot to switch to Hugo. So I guess this is our full party for this game. Cool. Okay, I think the music is that was definitely too loud there. Did I say it was topple? Oh, shoot, switch. <laughs> Fire, a fire spewing monster. It's a good thing we had a Gian on hand. So he's probably the one who did it. It's probably bullying me to say, but I've dealt with worse. Ah, uh, well, it seems safe to assume that this is the cause of the burn marks. I would have never dreamed that such a foul fiend could have laid in, in wait so close to Torgoth. Maybe it was driven out of its original home in a territorial, territorial dispute. I've heard that happens from time to time. Yeah, or maybe, more likely, some human store smashed up its home. We call them monsters, but to them, we're the monsters. Indeed, it must be thus. The day shall dawn when man's exploitations of the titans will bring us all to ruin. Perhaps that dawn is already upon us. Ah, not quite, bub. And oh! Oh, wait, is Indol the third titan? It look, the third titan of this game? If there's only one new titan, that kind of sucks. What a frick. It is said to be the embodiment of the architect's life. The divine revelations our founder Maldonare received. Really? Then... What is this place? It's a very tasty secret. Formerly known only to the Praetor and me. The essence of our Judician forebears, originally salvaged from the bottom of the Cloud Sea. Some of it may hail from the fabled land of Moritha. Moritha? Look. 
This here display is a diagram of what human cells are made of. And then this one here is a blades. Astonishingly alike. Of course. After all, they are descended from humans, too. That in and of itself isn't too shocking. But this... It's the same, isn't it? Just wait. That's a core crystal. Exactly. A blade's core crystal contains information not only pertaining to humans. It also records schematics describing all manner of animal tissues. You're saying blades contain detailed information of all living creatures? Not just that. Have a look at this undeveloped part. That is from a titan. It suggests that this particular piece may one day develop into a titan. Isn't it mind-boggling? A message from the architect, no doubt. From the architect? Indeed. This is just what you were after. I wish to investigate this and learn more of what the Architect has in store for this world and perhaps claim this knowledge for our own. Including the Praetor? Perhaps. Hmm. Isn't this in line with your own goals? Well then, I may as well help out. Hmm. Uh, there's a striking lack of cutscenes in this, uh, in Torna. There's a lot of these talking sections compared to some of it too. Like these talk bubble pseudo cutscene things where the camera's just sitting there as you read what characters are saying. I believe that concludes my mission. Shall we head to the flagship? Fine by me. It's a good place for us to exchange information. It's currently more at Lash from Code. Alright, then let's go back. So seeing how strikingly short this game seems like it might end up being, like, I'm gonna guess, or 30 episodes around, maybe, I don't know. I think I'm gonna do more, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna already decide what stuff I'm gonna do away from game. And also do some, uh, character stuff. So this whole community thing. I'm definitely gonna, um... Talk to people off camera to like get them added to the charts. Do their quests, their little side quests. And stuff like that. But I mean, that's really all, I think. There's no core crystals or opening, there's no opening blades in this game. Recipe for making a sword charm. Lord can grab this. Alright. Well, I'm gonna figure out how our sour stuff's looking. Uh, blades. Let's see what we got. Make sure you use it. I'm also gonna do work on the affinity chart. And stuff like that. Think of the Let's use it wisely. Defeat Arlo. Okay, I'll do that quick here, because I kind of want to finish that off. Whoa. Gormat, looking nice. 
Okay, that's the whole thing. There's not even a left side. Good lord. So it really is only the upper right portion of Gormat that's available in this. That's all. Alright, granted that is like the biggest area in the entirety of Zelda Chronicles 2. I think I'll listen to that on my own time for my theme. To defeat Arlo! Feck him. <laughs> Die, Arlo. Mine's eye level one. Overcome your fear of you know what. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Aspar, didn't you once tell me about how one slithered out from under your pillow? Are you guys still you talking? That was a long time ago. Just forget it. Use hail strike. So yeah, I'll definitely do a lot of work on that. You finish chart work. Alright, let's actually equip everyone with. With these, uh, Ox Horse. So it looks like they're always refined in this, in the DLC. There's no such thing as unrefined ox cores. Sure. Just just throw some stuff on him, we can put better stuff on there later. Alright, we have... oh shoot, uh... here we are. Front wanted, alright. So, scale chip. That's only good. And we have four of them, so each of them gets one. Ooh. Not her. Not her, I, I, th I don't think that's worth it. Or him, okay. So that's that. Enhance arts. Okay, what, what move does he supposed to use for the Hail Strike? Where is that? My phone did a jiggle. Tim's telling me that the side quests in this game are really good. In the, uh, Torner. So I'm considering doing those only in videos. I'll probably still talk to people and get their information and stuff. But I'm, I think I might do actual, if, if what he says is true, then I might actually focus on doing those in videos. But I'm not sure what, is that one of his specials? What was the name of it again? Hail Strike, right? Yeah, he'll strike. Yeah, that's this level one special, so I'll just use that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot to focus on here. We'll go one character at a time with that stuff, probably, because I don't want to get overwhelmed. There's a lot of stuff to look at in the character's menu. A lot of stuff to look at.
even with their stats all in XP and stuff all in one place, there's still a lot of stuff to look at in there. They have so many attacks. They each character. Oh god! Like in then we in the, in the base then we too. You know, each character kind of technically had uh, nine attacks. But they were all a bit more organized, like three for this blade, three for this blade, three for this blade. Okay. In this, it's like three for the driver, but one that one crazy attack. That's not a special. Special is separate. And drivers have specials too. And then your blades have three attacks and then one attack for if they're they, they also have three attacks when they're in the back. Three separate attacks. <laughs> and a fourth attack for when they come in front. And every single one has three, three, four, eight, eight, sixteen. So many attacks. So many attacks per party. Per character. Per character team. So many attacks. And it's... Oh my gosh. That's... What, 24 attacks? That's 24 attacks. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. <laughs> 10, 11, 12. 30, 40, 50, 60. Granted, the rear guard attacks I don't actually use, except for the switch art. These are just kind of things that they do. But there's still arts I have to, like, look at and figure out what they do to know, like, when to have the blade in the back. And then sometimes he'll use one of these. And, like, so... <laughs> so I have to make sure he's in the back in certain conditions that make their attacks back there better. It's so complex! I have to play this on my own time to get used to this system. I have to. This is crazy. Oh, okay. Okay, he didn't mean that they're good. He said don't sleep on them. Which made me think that he meant that they were good. Don't don't just ignore them. Do, please do them because they're good or something. No, he means that they're actually required to for in the story to advance. You need to have done a certain amount of side quests or something like that. So, I would definitely take that to heart and I'll do them off camera. Yeah, apparently if you if you go through the game without the side quest, you'll get, you'll get hard stopped because you won't because because you won't have done side quests. So I'll do more side quests off camera uh, to make sure that we can do some more story progression in the videos. But the complexion is intense to the battle system. It might be more complex than the main game, which is just insane. It carries over a lot of the elements. I wonder if chain attacks will be back. I don't have any pouch items. <laughs> I don't have any freaking pouch items. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay, make sure to equip them with these. These are important. I can't, he doesn't have to fit any, okay. Alright. Oh, man. Well, that's it for this episode. I'm going to do a little bit off camera, and then I'm going to do a recording of the episode. Those are for the next video, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.